Hey guys, welcome back to Periodic Surfer and welcome back to my workshop. Now, in the SUP build series, we have already built the frame and that's what we did in the last video. And it's a good looking frame at that. However, it doesn't quite look like you could ride this thing yet. So we're gonna get one step closer to the day by attaching the bottom deck skins so we can move on to things like the rails, hardware, top deck, shaping, etc. Now the first thing we have to do to get our bottom deck installed is to glue together the deck blank. So in our complete kits, it comes with six millimeter thick polonia at 300 millimeters wide. But as our board is wider than 300 mil, what we have to do is glue three of these together so we have a wide enough blank. So to do that, I'm gonna be using my panel press here because I have already done a dedicated video on gluing together thin stock before. So check out this video here on this card and watch that if you are new to working with thin timbers. Now there is a few considerations with thin timber that you don't really need to take into consideration with thick timber like you would use for say a tabletop. And that is just the fact that as you apply clamping force, things will buckle and you'll find it really difficult to get a, a tight, clamping forth if you don't take some precautions. So make sure you do check out that video for some detailed descriptions. So with the deck skins drying, let's turn our attention onto the paper template. So all of our kits have a paper template, which is one to one in scale, and it is for the deck outline. As you can see, it has everything laid out on it. So we have our center lines of all of our ribs, our spines, and we also have things like our fin positions dictated on the template so we don't have to worry about figuring out the perfect place for them when it comes to installing them. But all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut the, the template out as close to the line as I feel comfortable. And we're just going to be able to use this to mark out the shape on our polonia, but also line up that center line so we can make sure that we have grain going straight or you know grain highlights where we want them. Now another really cool idea is to mark a few key intersections that is shown on our uh, templates here so we can line things up perfectly. So there's a few ways you can do it. One is just with like a, a marking ole, so that's something with a, a pointy tip and just kind of press it into the, the cross sections. Another thing I like to do when I'm marking is where the nose and the tail sections are, I just mark a few holes all the way through it to the rib to give me an idea of the profile. And that way, if I need to do any tweaking with stretching or, or pushing when we're gluing the frame on, we can just do that to these marks. So from here, it's just a matter of cutting this out using whatever method I'm gonna use a jigsaw and just make sure you leave a little bit of a space. So that way we have a bit of safety material. All right, so there is our deck skin and we have everything marked out and looking really good. We can move on to getting this thing attached to the frame. But first we need to set up a rocker table to help us in the gluing up of this skin. So in front of me, I have already set up a little rocker table just using anything I had on hand. So what a rocker table is, is just a work surface which matches the curvature of the rocker. So if I move you in to look at the nose here, you can see that I have the frame laying on top of all these random bits of wood, which is spacing it up so that the curvature of the table is matching the curvature of the frame. And what this means is that we can lay our, uh, our deck skin down on this and then push the frame into the deck skin so that we're not putting undue stress on any of these components. Now, obviously being that I have a workshop full of wood, I'm using wood here, but I've seen things like books, bricks, uh, weights, anything that is flat can be used for this. A little trick that's been producing some pretty good results for us is to actually use some cardboard under the concaves because this is soft enough that it will compress under pressure, but it's also rigid enough that it will press up into our little concave section. So, when we press down on that, you can see it all compress, but because it doesn't take much clamping pressure to actually induce our concave, it's actually plenty strong enough to get the boards to conform. So that's everything done on the rack rocker table. We've added some springs to help keep things into the, uh, into the concaves if needed. Uh, I think we're good to go. So we'll carefully remove the frame. We're just gonna lift our skin into position. So now you should be able to see the benefit of setting up a rocker table correctly by the fact that when we press down here, you can see that everything comes up nice and tight. 
For the clamping, I actually use ratchet straps. So on this bench, I have ratchet straps built into it, which makes it really easy. So this is just a strip that I'm using as a coal to just distribute the clamping pressure. And I'm gonna be using these on every single rib, but for the dry run, I'm just gonna do it in two to three positions. All right, so that's the dry run uh, completed, and we can see it's looking really pretty good. So there's not any major gaps uh, except for around here, and that's that's a position that we could probably reach a clamp into. All right, so with all of that fitting quite nicely, I'm just gonna do some witness marks here, and then we can get on to the glue up. So I'm gonna undo all the straps, flip the frame over, put glue on all the faces, and then just press it into place. So that's glue on everything. Now I'm just going to flip it over carefully and line it up with all of our marks we did before. So now, just starting from the middle out, I'm gonna start applying my straps. It's just important to be checking that our registration marks are actually lining up. Here at the tail, we had those uh, marks where the paper template kind of demonstrated where things should go. And that's where we're going to bend this tail into now. Now anywhere there's a gap like this, I'm just shoving wedges on the underside to bring it back up. And these are just clamp, uh, pegs, but they're the perfect shape. But what you'll see is that just by wedging it, those gaps are getting nice and closed. Now, another option for the hard to close places is just using super glue. As you press it together nice and firmly and the instant activator. So this is good for places where maybe you can't get a clamp or a wedge, I should say. And it just makes life a little bit easier. Now, all the way around the board to get the actual deck skin close to the rails, I just wedge it again. So here, this is why pegs are so great, because you can get heaps of them for cheap and they will literally create the perfect wedge. All right, so that's the bottom deck skin attached. So hopefully you could see that by having the rocker table set up with the cross members where every rib is and being able to just use wedges to push things up, it does make life a whole lot easier. So we're gonna let this dry and uh, that is basically it. Oh, so there is our frame and it is glued onto our bottom deck and it is looking really, really good. So this method that I've shown you is the kind of most bare bones approach. It's throwing things together what most DIYers are going to have and using what's on hand. Now in the next video, we are going to get onto attaching the rails as well as the support material that is needed for things like fin boxes, vent plugs, leash plugs, and all of that. Uh, with the rail also comes filling in the tail and then it's the fun part of attaching the top deck and shaping. So we're getting pretty close, even if it looks like we're a long way away. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video. There is also gonna be a written article alongside on the website. So if you're interested in some more details or whatever, uh, head over to the website and check that out. Link is in the description once that article is completed.